Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Black Onyx. Today is July, I don't know, 8th or 9th, I think. Anyway, um, I know I haven't done a video in a long time, and I promise I will be coming back and doing a video to explain everything that has happened in the past couple of months um, between my surgeries and everything else. But thank you for everyone who's prayed for me, and I'm definitely recovering. Um, very like well all right so now let's go ahead and switch over to hair i have some videos that will be coming up um on styles just different um couple other new natural um styles that i've been playing around with um also some tips on how to take care of your hair during the summer to keep it from drying out especially if you're going to be swimming a lot like me because i swim like three or four times a week um, i also have a hair tip on an important styling tool that I've discovered since I've been gone which is truly has been helping my hair along with of course switching over to um, all natural products. Alright now let's do hair. So here's the thing especially because it's summer I love wash and goes but they have their pros and cons which we'll discuss another time but right now I'm trying to wear my hair this week um, in a stretch style which is crazy because I just started working back out a couple days ago and I do sweat a lot but still I want to wear my hair stretched so what I like to do is someone asked me a question in the last um, video with the wedding hairstyle if when I want to stretch my hair do I always resort to using a blow dryer and no I don't usually the blow dryer is like my last resort if I'm rushing but if I have time then I prefer to use the banding technique the banding technique is very simple. Um, I actually think they came up with it from um, banding, like they have a technique that they also band um, horse hair. You know, it sounds crazy. But anyway, banding technique is just a way to stretch your natural hair to make it easier to style or to give you that big hair um, look or to make it easier for you to manipulate without using heat. Um, it's very simple. It's banding kind of says rub rubber bands, but I prefer not to put rubber bands in my hair because when you're removing them, um, they're quick to get tangled. So I actually use um, like hair ties or whatever. And of course the only hair ties that I use are the ouchless goody ones because they don't have any metal. Especially when you have natural hair, please avoid using metal um, in your hair. A lot of people also use this technique on their children because it also helps um, to stretch their children's hair before they begin to comb it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. First, um, the only thing that you want to do while you're doing this is making sure you're doing your seal the moisture step, um, which is of course your liquid, your oil. No, your liquid, your cream, and then your oil. Um, I've actually taken down the old seal the moisture video, and I will be coming out very soon with a new seal the moisture video um, using the Alcane natural products that I currently use. Um, because the last seal the moisture video I did, I used like 500 products, but that was because I had to use them to get. The results that I wanted. All right, so let's go ahead and get this started. It's very simple. All right, um, I'm wanting to make this video a quick one, so I'm not going to linger and talk too much. You probably also want to have on hand some duckbill clips, and yes, this um, banding technique can also be used on really short hair. All right, so I'm just depending on your hair length is going to depend on how many. Um, how many bands you actually need to make so for me I'm going to you don't really need to part your hair especially if after you band your hair you're gonna take it down and do like let's say a twist out or a braid out but since I'm not sure exactly what I want to do afterwards I'm gonna go ahead and just um, make my part where I like it to be anyway so clip the other hair out of the way and I'm going to apply my lemongrass leave-in conditioner. Rake that through. To see, I only finger detangled my hair in the shower. I didn't detangle it fully. Um, then I'm going to put on an oil, which I'm going to use my Alloca Naturals Hair Elixir. And you just need a couple drops of it. Not too much needed. Okay. Then I'm going to put on a little bit of Alka Naturals Hair Parfait as my cream to seal. And I'm going to make sure my hair gets all the products saturated through them and by detangling my hair and stretching it. 
Um, I actually cut my hair recently also, y'all, but this is where my bangs currently are. So, all right. And I like to make sure that my edges especially are in there, so I just smooth it with the brush in. All right, now you put one rubber band. You wanna hold very, not too tight to where you're pulling up your scalp, but you wanna pull very tight and you wanna tie that rubber band securely on. This rubber band right here, this, I'm gonna call it rubber band, but you guys know it's a hair tie, okay? So this band right here is basically smoothing out and stretching this part of your hair, okay? Now, you stretch your hair and put on a next band. I don't like, my hair right now is not like down my back, touching my butt or whatever, so I don't like to put my bands like too far apart because the closer you put them, the more your hair will stretch. Um, also, some people use the technique of banding like this because then you have like extra band in between. So you're like having the other rubber band kind of like be a spacer. You know what I mean? Like that. Because the more you stretch them to set like have basically cover each piece of the hair, the more your hair will stretch in the banding technique. So I'm stretching my hair and I'm putting on the next rubber band. It works really well if you do the crisscross technique like so. See? Like I'm criss I crisscross the rubber band all the way down. So that's three. And it's pretty cool because when I first started banding my hair a while ago, I only needed like two rubber bands. And now, even using the crisscross technique, I need more. So let's go crisscross again. You put the rubber band on your hair like so. Twist it once, go down, let it like, don't put the band back on top of the other one. You want to stretch it so it's actually going down the hair. Down the hair. Down. See? Like so. And, whoo. It's like when I get to the end, I always struggle. Anyway, there you go. That's the banding technique. I will go ahead and take a picture of it. But that's basically it. So now what you do is just you, you repeat that exact same step throughout your whole head. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many it's going to take for my hair um, today, but I'm going to go ahead and do it and I will come back and show you and take pictures so you can see exactly um, how the crisscross pattern is. Because my hair is black, it the bands kind of like blend in. Alright, so I'll be back. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, I'm still banding my hair, but because I have... My memory is pretty short. I wanted to make sure that the hair tips that I was coming up with as I was doing this, I wanted to make sure I came in and shared them with you before I forgot when I came back at the end of the video. Number one, when you're banding your hair, um, the way that I do it is the first rubber band I put on, I don't do the crisscross method with it. I just do the regular rubber band method, which is like when you're just rolling and putting them all in the same spot. Number two, if you're banding your hair and it seems to like get tangled or you're going down to do the next band and the hair seems to have shrunken up, it's best to brush or comb it out before you band it because the whole point is that you want to make sure the hair is fully detangled and stretched. Um, the next tip is make sure when you're banding your hair, um, yes you can do it on wet, dry, or damp hair. I prefer to do it on damp hair because it dries quicker than wet hair and it, for me, is easier to manipulate than dry hair because I wouldn't be brushing out my dry natural hair. So make sure you detangle your hair in the shower first. Um, the next tip is to, I use a paddle brush when I'm doing mine. Um, dang, I've had hair up in here for a while. I need to take that out. Um, anyway, when you're using a paddle brush, make sure you get the ones that have plastic bristles and not um, metal. Metal is going in, I think, in paddle brushes. When I use the metal ones, it's more likely to like tear my hair. And you also don't want to use paddle brushes that have the little plastic ball-y thing at the end. Because more than likely, those are going to break off in your hair and then expose the metal, which is then going to rip your hair. Um, let's see. 
What else did I think of to tell you? Uh, I don't remember. See, I told you my, my memory's bad. Okay, so two more hair tips. Number one, um, when you're detangling your hair, please, once again, make sure you're detangling from the tip of your hair to the root. Um, it's also good to use your hand as a guider for when you're detangling like this, because it works very well. And next tip is, don't give away your ouchless rubber bands and not buy more. My sister was here for a couple of weeks visiting and I gave her like a lot of my ouchless bands because she was still using the one with the metals. Now she's gone and I got to the last two and I ran out and I refused to use rubber bands. So I ended up having to use um, three of the ones that have metal on there. Oh my gosh, I'm like, please Lord, don't let it rip my hair out. So yeah, I'll be watching those very carefully. Anyway, so that's it. Um, after this, you can oil your scalp if you want to. Um, I usually put on my hair and scalp balm on my scalp at this point, or you can rub some hair elixir, whichever you choose. Um, and then after that, you're just waiting for your hair to dry basically. So after it dries, um, I'm going to come in and I'll do a part two to this tutorial showing you um, how I take them out and what it looks like when I'm done and just telling you a few options that you can do to style from there. Alright, so stay tuned. The part two will be coming either later tonight or tomorrow. Have a great day. Stay tuned for the pictures. Bye. Girl, I think about a sexy body all the time. Love the way you move. Ooh, the way you move. Girl, I think about a day when I'll be next to you. Girl, I love the way you want. Girl, are you my want? Girl, are you my need? Girl, I never, 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 never leave. Girl, are you all no more for sitting on my dream? Girl, are you all no more for having on my team?